All right, guys, you ready? This is going to be pretty awesome. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Ready? Take the night tour. Night tour. Take the night tour. Night tour. N T O. Step into the grand tour. N T N T. Step into the night tour. Yu Gi Oh nightmare. Oh. Mm -mm. Step into the grand tour. Grand tour. Grand tour. Yu Gi Oh N T. Step into the grand tour. A whole new adventure begins. A new challenge for flooding his friends. Cause he's a duelist strong. Pilaf makes him a child again. The Dragon Balls are burning, burning it again. We're all by picking up hands. Millennium items versus the evil. Who's gonna win when the sand clock keeps clocking? The defense is gonna be the last line of defense. Your wish has been granted. Oh. Step into the NT. Step into the night tour, night tour, night tour. Yu Gi Oh! NT. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and that right there, guys. That is how you intro a video. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Tribidor. This is by Floodmon14. Not sleepy yet. And, anyways, uh, what are we doing? In today's episode, we are going to. <laughs> nice, I kept recording too. <laughs> uh, that should be great to check out and post. But uh, anyway, in this episode, we're going to continue. And last time, I was kind of opening some packs and the video cut off. So basically, now we just need to go back to the game shop. And yes, we will enter now. Actually, hang on. Before I do this, I'm going to mess around a little bit. Let me see if I can just uh, kind of expand this view here. Totally unprofessional, I know, but uh, that's a bit better, actually. Yeah. All right, let me try just uh, shooting the video like this, kind of supersize, so to speak. And yeah, there we go. All right, there's the shop. Get, still getting used to some of the controls, but uh, dual table, entrance way, nope. Card counter, yes. This is what we want. We want the super size. Alright, and here, it's just like the normal screen, except I can't really see what I'm doing. That's the only challenging part, but other than that, eh, pretty good. So yes, we will open Mechanical Trap Power. And doesn't really matter which one, but uh Anyways, how are you guys doing? Uh doing pretty good. Time machine, that's a good card. Uh, anyways, these are some of the cards we got. Sword of Dragon Souls, actually pretty good. Only can be used on a warrior. Boost by 700, auto kills dragons. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a couple of anti-dragon cards here. Uh, I would highly recommend Dragon Capture Jar. Yeah, pretty sure Kaiba's in this game at some point. And uh, not only that couple random duelists just have really good dragon types, so, hey, if you're not using dragon types yourself, good card, time machine. When a monster is sent to the graveyard, you can return it to the field in the same position. Um, yeah, pretty good card. So we'll get this mechanical trap power. Oh, there we go, and I'm changing the pack now, there we go. Okay, there we go, we'll change to a pack. Alright guys, wish me luck, wish us luck. Polymerization, that's good. Ooh, Zoa! Hey, that's not a bad card. And as you saw, that was a super rare there because it did the stars and it kind of circled around, so that's pretty cool. A Zoa, yeah, fiend type or a devil type if you play in the uh, Japanese version of this game. <laughs> devil type, oh man, gotta love it. Um, seven stars, dark type, 2600 attack. 1,900 defense, a monster whose full potential can be achieved when outfitted with Metal Morph. Yep, so, and we'll buy one more pack, and I think we'll be good, because we got a super rare, so I'm good with that. We can save right there. Yes, and we got the Yami card. That's what I was really wanting. That's, okay, okay, yeah, this card's good. This card's 
terrible. But yeah, Yami increases the attack and defense of all fiend and spellcaster types by 200. Now, I know it may not seem like much, but I mean, eventually it all adds up, man. It all adds up. And the other cards we won, I think were, yeah, Castle Walls, eh, not bad. And Slot Machine, uh, used by Bandit Keith <laughs> in America quite a lot. So, <laughs> a lot of his cards are in the sub pack, so pretty interesting. And we need the door, yeah, entryway, there we go. Alright, and with this, I may change back to regular size just to, uh, kind of navigate, so regular size, there we go, and we will go home, alright, beautiful, still a bit of a glare on the home screen, not really sure how to fix that, uh, I think you could see enough to see what we're about to do, anyway, we want to edit the deck a bit, and we have Blood's Paradise, that's right, level 6, level 6, man, we are... We are moving. We are playing. All right, so two cards we want in here are Yami. Well, three. Yami, um, Zoa, and oh, what was the other one? I kind of forget. Yami, Zoa, and oh, right. We got another time machine. That's right. Don't have to remember, it's just right there. So, there we go. Select Time Machine. Uh, now, this should work where I can change it to the deck, right? There we go. Just had to kind of click and drag there. So, Time Machine Z, 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 Z. Sorry, guys, this is just the way I edit. It's like, it's kind of weird, I know, but I had to do it alphabetically. Otherwise, it's just like, oh man, it's not kosher. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how are you guys doing? I'm doing. Pretty good overall. Uh, yeah, today is, as you can see on my computer, uh, July 13th, 2019. And we're just here, just, you know, playing a little Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Another day at the office, man. <laughs> Love this game. Alright, so I put in three, so what do I take out is always the question. Man, I have three Hain Hain. OP, man. OP. Uh, I did put in a two tribute monster. Do I take out Kazajin? <sighs> Do I? Hmm. I'll think about it. Hmm. What really stinks here is the question. Hmm. Well, if I had to be honest, Shadow of Eyes, don't get me wrong. We used it last duel, and it's actually pretty helpful overall, but. Okay, here's what I'm thinking, guys. The fact that we have Royal Decree means that ultimately, here's what I want to do. Eventually, I'm going to focus and get probably two Royal Decree. And with that, we want to focus less on traps overall. Now, I know we just added Time Machine, and it's a good trap. But basically, we're going to start weeding the traps out and putting the good spells in as we get them. Again, not in any hurry, but that's the grand plan. Uh, Whiptail Crow Fiend. That's good. Um, Great White. Great White. Hmm. Uh, I suppose we can get rid of one of this to the side. And then one more card. Is it going to be Kazajin? No, but Kazajin's a spellcaster, so why would I get rid of it, right? Right. Good thinking, Josh. Good thinking. Um, let's get rid of a spell or trap card then. How about mm, Eternal Rest? I like Eternal Rest though. For some reason, I just do. Um. Well, I did add a magic card. Yummy. <sighs> Tell you what. Let's get rid of Sword of. No, 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 no. There's got to be something else here. Okay, let's do it. Let's get rid of Eternal Rest. I'm sorry, Eternal Rest. I didn't want to get rid of you, but... Hey, we can't be editing the deck the entire time. That's just not very cool. Alright, and we'll save here on Flood's Paradise. There we go. 
and I will exit and exit. All right, with that we can leave the house and try to run into a duelist here. So basically what I'm gonna do is try to run into a duelist and then change it back to the big screen. <laughs> the big screen, <laughs> yeah, we're watching a movie, guys. We gotta, we gotta watch our movies on the big screen. <laughs> And yeah, sorry about the glare and whatnot. It's just... Oh, Shizuka. Well, there we go. Ah, Serenity. Such a nice day to do outside. What does Big Brother always say? Nisama. Oh yeah, time to duel. All right, Serenity. Serenity Wheeler, cute sister. Indeed, indeed. Uh, let's see, can I... Oh yeah, I can move this even more. Okay, cool, cool. All right, let's try this. And let's, uh, oh, right, I don't know what I'm picking. Screw it, we'll pick heads. I mean, rock. And we'll go first. All right, guys, wish me luck, because I basically have to figure out the controls blind. All right, a lot of reading there. Time to get some water. Gotta drink water, guys, gotta drink water. Mm, mm-hmm, mm. mm. Drinking some bread, by the way. Now, to those not familiar to me, you may ask, what is red? Red is a flavor of Kool-Aid. That is all you need to know. So if I press that and I press this, it should that. Boy, this is so weird. It's like I'm talking myself through the controls. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're going to set trap hole. I think I'm doing this right. Yep. Good, good. And I want to summon Whiptail Crow now. I'm trying to think on the menu. You have details, then set, and summon, right? Let's try that. Nope. Okay, so it's details, summon, then set. Okay. Well, we should be okay. I mean, Serenity's not gonna... She's not gonna do anything too crazy, man. You know, so... Ah, but look at Serenity. So cool, man. Uh, now, we should be getting the proper trap hole, so I'll press B. There we go. Yep, like I said, just kind of talking myself through the controls on this one. Sorry, guys. It's just, you know, it's, hey, what can I say? It's been a while, and, uh, yeah, I got to realize the controls, man. Three face downs, really? Okay. Oranotan, draw. Bad reaction to Samochi. Now, What's well, pretty funny. I don't think I ever discussed a Serenity strategy, but uh, here goes. So her strategy is what I like to call Nurse Burn. Now, what is Nurse Burn? Well, Nurse Burn is the process by which basically... Okay, good. Let's switch to attack mode. Basically, with Nurse Burn, you... Bake, both players gain life points, right? Ideally, and then because you have because you have bad reaction to Samochi out, or in later support, you would see cards like um, you would see cards like uh, oh, what am I doing here? And oops, nope, that is not the attack command. And attack. There we go. Sorry. In later strategies, you would see cards like Dark Lord Marie, or should I say Marie the, uh, Dark Marie the Fallen one. And, uh, yeah. Basically, you would just use, excuse me, the, uh, combined strategies, uh, to kind of overwhelm your opponent. So, uh, what are we doing here? Trying to end my turn. Hang on. Did I get it? I got it. All right. And just like that, guys, we have um, sort of come full circle. As I said before, not really used to playing full screen like this for a while. But I think the biggest thing is like <laughs> I have to remember to use my left hand because, yeah. Because that's the hand that's holding... My right hand is holding the uh, phone, so... Wait, what? 
Oh, do I want to chain a card? No. Right? Wait, hang on, hang on. Definitely want to get Hain Hain's effect right, so sorry, large screen. Designate the monster. Oh, okay. Confirmation, basically. Bye bye. And since I'm full screen, I might as well get the summon right. So, yep. S tribute. There we go. Alright, back to full screen. And now we should press B and over. <laughs> but hey, yeah, if you guys don't know the controls either, I guess this is pretty helpful for you. So, there we go. Direct attack. Nice. Alright, Shizuka, I think, uh, you know what? It's funny, uh, yeah, I'm actually talking about her strategy a bit. It's, you know, she has some of the good cards for the Nurse Burn strategy. Go! Meteor Wing! <laughs> oh man, I forgot to cue that clip up for Firewing Pegasus. Sorry, Firewing Pegasus, but uh, it's the Digimon clip. Uh, I may be able to edit that in post. Hmm, interesting. I'll try it. Didn't hurt to try, man. But yeah, her strategy... Uh, again, she's just the beginner level, so... There are one or two things that could be better about her strategy. But overall, it's pretty... Pretty solid, you know what I mean? So, uh, gotta give her props for that. Whoops, that's the caps lock. That is not the A button, Josh. You just found the caps lock. But yeah... Yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the return of uh, this Let's Play, and uh, yeah, I know I am. This game's fun, man. This game's so fun. Uh, let's see. I think I need to press B here. There we go. And yeah, we're on Firewing Pegasus now. And attack. There we go. Direct attack. Meteor Wing! Beomon, Digivolve 2, Garudamon! <laughs> Gotta have fun, man. Uh, but yeah, what time is it? It's currently 3.08 in the morning. So pretty early to be doing an LP. You know, I haven't had my morning LP coffee yet, so to speak. But uh, let's try playing Graceful Charity. Let's see a spell card, huh? So if I move two squares, should activate. Two squares to the right. No, that said it. Ah, I see. But since it's a spell card, it should let me activate it anyway, since I said it this turn. There we go. I activate Graceful Charity. Somebody call the draw. Me my stare. So we will discard the two um the two, what do they call these in English? Um, I don't know, they didn't call them, like, god cards necessarily, but they had a name, uh, well, I know technically they're the gate guardian pieces, but what's the technical name? Uh, the three guardian cards? Is that right? I want to say that's right, but, eh, it could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we should have this duel wrapped up. Uh, I'm going to attack with Firewing Pegasus first. Because, yeah, it should have enough attack power to get over whatever she's got. So, yeah, Amazon Archer. Um, I'm not sure why that card's in her deck. See, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Now, if Serenity played with, like, let's say, oh, I don't know, three copies of Scapegoat. Oh, and I'm getting the prompt for Time Machine. That's why it keeps doing that. Uh, but yeah, if she played with three copies of Scapegoat, much like Joey does, her big brother, I could see why that card would be in her deck, because that would be pretty annoying, honestly. But as it is, we move on, and we attack her directly. And just like that, that's it. That is the first morning duel. Thank you, Serenity. You win. Turn nine. All right, and we will now show the stats, and I will maximize to do so. So we got 50 points. Uh, I forget how much you get for Yami Yugi, but obviously quite a 
big point differential, but 71 overall, not bad. No new bonuses, but eh, don't worry about it. I could win this time, but I'm not giving up. Hey, that's a great attitude. That is a great attitude, girl. Good job. Alright, so we'll go home and save. And then I know this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode, but I think we're going to... No, you know what? No, we're not going to end it here. So since I have extra time in this episode for sure, we're going to return to the shop and we're going to buy a few more packs. That's And that will end the episode. So let me go down here. Man, this is a bit different just holding the camera. But I definitely found that I can do it. Um, it's funny, though. I really just need something stable at the exact height I'm holding it right now. And I should be able to move freely, which, of course, definitely helps in an LP. But, hey, I can do it with and without. So, let's see. Ah, Inherited Will. Now, that's a pretty good pack as well. Um... There are some cards. Oh, yeah. That's right. I have a card list right beside me here. Ah, geez. What was I thinking? I was supposed to read that as I was dueling Serenity. Eh, oh, well. Anyways, uh, we got Lejin. Nice. Genie of the Lamp. Let's see. Yeah, Genie of the Lamp. Sin Genjin. <laughs> I always thought there should be some kind of, like, you know, five-part episode featuring... This guy, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yep. Arsenal bug. It's an okay monster. Pretty good with DNA surgery on the field. Good defense and horn of heaven. Yep. You tribute a monster and you can tribute a token as well to negate any summon, including special summon, and destroy it. So, horn of heaven. Pretty good card, and most importantly, it's a counter trap card, which means your the only way your opponent will counter it is if they a already have royal decree up or b if they chain another counter card which is again very situational in and of itself uh we did not get a rare card there which is unfortunate but what it is good is we got two copies of Lejin now so basically i'll probably replace a great white and Neo the Magic Swordsman with all of these Legion. Ooh, 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 ooh. Check that out. How lucky am I today? Okay, now this card says Deck Devast Destruction Virus, but we all know what this card is. This is the Crush Card Virus of this game. And this is a really good card so yeah as it says you can activate dark fiend 500 or less destroyed by a battle send 10 random cards from your opponent's deck to the graveyard now i know it's it has that printed but uh as you guys will see later that's not how this card works it works much like it does in the eroded version so Basically, you can sacrifice any dark monster, doesn't have to be a fiend type, of a thousand or less. Then you check your opponent's hand, and any monsters with 1500 or more attack are destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Also, after that, you check each card your opponent draws, and if it falls into that same category, 1500 attack or greater, it's instantly destroyed now. That is a really, really, really powerful effect uh, for quite a number of reasons. And um, you guys will see that basically, yeah, we're going to use that strategy pretty much the entire game. Because that strategy is just way too good not to use, man. So, uh, yeah, um, progress definitely achieved in this episode um i didn't think we would actually get crush card virus but <laughs> we got it man we got it 
game over, man. Game over. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for me, guys. I'm really, really, I'm, I'm, I'm having such a hard time holding it in right now. But uh, yeah, we're basically going to um save the game, and in between episodes, I'm gonna edit my deck, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't believe I got it. I had I to go to it just 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 because, man. Okay, deck. There it is, right there, man. Oh, I can't believe I got it. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, man, I have such great luck. Yes, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Yugi, prepare to feel the wrath of my ultimate combo. I now attack with a combination of Saki the Dark Cloud and Crush Card Virus. Yugi, your deck is now. Almost 75% useless. <laughs> now my blue eyes fuse together and form the ultimate terror of destruction. My blue eyes ultimate dragon. <laughs> oh man, Seto Kaiba would be so proud of me right now. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you, yeah, man. Crazy man. <laughs> All right, so just gotta save. Heck yeah, man. Yes.
Crush card is mine, man. Whew, man, I was hot recording in that trench coat. But, uh, yeah, let me close that. And, oh, I forgot I had this running. Yeah, the cam. <laughs> man, I can't wait to see my reaction on this. Wee! All right, bye, guys. Platinum 14. Signing out. Bye-bye. <laughs> Post credits and everything, man. Lucky night. Lucky night. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe it. Yes. Can you feel that? Huh? I have exercised the demon. This house is clear. Get him out of here, loser. Let's go, Ace. Loser. Mm -hmm. Dun 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 dun.